Hi and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been ages since I've posted a video but I'm back today so let's get started. Today I've got a really exciting video and I've been desperate to try out the new Morphe and Jeffree Star makeup brushes. Woo! So at the weekend I went to the Morphe store in London in Westfield and they had the Jeffree Star Morphe makeup brushes and these literally look so cool and I've not touched them since the weekend because I wanted to film my reaction so they come in a cute little bag like this and inside literally not opened fresh packet I will say the packaging is amazing so I just got the brushes. He did also bring out some makeup sponges as well, but I didn't get those. I'm just gonna go and do a makeup look with the brushes and see how I get on. So first off, we've got, I think this one's number one. And this one's meant to be for like foundation. I quite like to use a beauty blender for my foundation. I'm not really a big fan of using makeup brushes, so this will be a big test to see if this can change my opinion on using brushes for foundation. So let's see. It does feel really soft. I think it's synthetic, this one. I just love the packaging. It's so cool, I don't know if you can see. So cool. So I am just going to go in with Menage Sheer Glow and I feel like you can't really go wrong with this foundation, you can literally apply it with anything and it will look good so if this makes it look bad then you know that it's not a good brush. Oh, I don't want to ruin it because it's pink and I don't want to get it dirty. You ready? Too late now. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say that I've already primed and moisturised my skin off camera. So let's see what happens. Shall I zoom you in a bit? Let's see how it works. It actually feels so soft because some foundation brushes that I've used before are like really dense whereas this one I feel is not as dense as other ones I've tried so that might be a good thing I'll tell you what I'm liking this because also with the brushes I feel that I end up with brush strokes left on my face whereas I know with a beauty blender you're not going to get that but this one, I don't see any brush strokes. Hmm, interesting. I'm really liking this. The nose is normally where you'll be able to tell if it doesn't work properly. On me, that is. Oh, I've got an eyelash. I am loving this brush. This might actually change me. I'm like in shock right now because I normally hate brushes for foundation, for applying foundation, and I am actually really, really loving this. I've tried a lot of foundation brushes. Oh my god. I've just finished applying my foundation with the brush and I don't know if you can tell but this literally looks amazing I can't see any brush strokes on my face 
and that is a good sign. Another thing that I love is that it literally took like five seconds to do. I might be changed. This brush is definitely a good one. Would recommend this one. I will be using this now in my everyday routine. I just can't believe that because I always have always found that I hated brushes and prefer a sponge but this one. The foundation is great. We're off to a good start. So the next brush is this one. So it's like a little mini version. And I think on his video this he said that this one's great for like concealer under the eyes. I think he said that. If not, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna give it a go for concealer and see what happens. Because that's another thing that I normally would just use a beauty blender for. So let's have a little look. So I'm just going to use my Kevin Aquan concealer, the one that I normally use. I'm still so like impressed by the foundation brush. That is honestly so amazing. So I'm just going to put my concealer where I normally would. And then blend out with the brush. Right, I'm quite scared to do this, but let's see. I think these brushes are made both this one and the foundation one are both synthetic so I don't know if that's why they're literally being so good on my skin there's literally not a brush stroke in sight I am really happy with these brushes so far nice so again this brush is also great, would recommend this one. Great for concealer. I think he also said that you could use it for like powder under the eyes. So, you know what? I might try that as well. So again, I'm just gonna use my go-to Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna take some under the eye. Again, I'm not seeing any problems. It's great for getting into those small places. Like I find that this is actually perfect for under the eye. Like with a bigger brush, it'll be a lot more difficult. So yeah, definitely this brush is great too. Happy with that one. I don't think that he. I'm just seeing what other brush he really. I don't know if there's like a main one for putting powder on the face. I think this one. I don't know if I want to use this one as more of a contour brush. I like this. Yeah, because it's quite small for all over the face powder. So I'm quickly going to put powder all over my face and I'll be right. So I've just finished powdering my face and I am really liking it so far, very happy with it. So as I said we're going to go into this brush which is, I've just realised I've not been saying any of the names of them, so this one is JS2 and I'm going to use this to bronze my face up and see how I get on with that. I'm just going to use a Becca bronzer. This one is in Capri Coast. And this is my new favourite bronzer at the moment. So let's see how it works. So far I've not found any problems holding the brushes either. Nice and comfortable in my hand, so that's always good. Okay. 
very soft, like I can barely feel it on my face. The bristles are so soft. Hmm. Okay. I am liking it. I feel like that's literally what I'm gonna be saying for the whole video. So I like all of them. <laughs> because I feel like some brushes that I've used in the past can be really harsh on the skin and sometimes that's what causes the makeup underneath to move whereas these are literally so light and soft is that I can barely feel it on my skin and that is a good sign a little bit on my forehead Now I'm going to put a bit of blusher on and I'm just going to use the same brush and see how it goes with that one. I'm going to use a Laura Mercier blush and this one is in the shade Chai. So again, that works great for blush and bronzer. I would recommend that one as well. Sorry about that, my camera died. But now I'm back and we're gonna try out the highlighting brush. So it looks like this. Let's see what it's like. I'm just going to use my go-to highlighter, which if you've seen my last video, you'll know it is the Revolution Vivid Golden Lights Highlighter. I'm loving the size of the brush because it's like, you can be more precise. Do a little bit on my nose. It's actually the perfect size for this. So yeah, that brush definitely works. So that's another good one out of the collection. So next, I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows because he released an eyebrow brush. this one I will take it off the packet so I love that already it's double ended so you've got can you see so you've got the angled brush on the front on the front what about you've got the angled brush on that end and then you've got a spoolie on the other end which is great, I love that already. Off to a good start. So I'm just gonna use what I normally would and that's my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and see how I get on with it. Comb through my eyebrows. Again, it's very soft compared to my other brush that I use for my brows. Is the other one I use is quite hard, whereas this one's quite soft. So after finishing my brows off camera, 
I can say that it's definitely a different brush to what I'm used to in terms of it's very soft but I do like it it is definitely really easy to do those individual brush hairs with it which is what he said that he liked it for um, but yeah I think that they look okay I like the fact that you get the spoolie as well with the brush so next I'm going to try out some of the eyeshadow brushes so yeah the two eyeshadow brushes are the last ones out of the brush collection so I think these are both natural hairs as well so you have got this one which is JS6 so it looks like this little fluffy one and then you've got JS5 which is a slightly big bigger version more like a blending brush so I'm literally just going to do a simple eyeshadow look using one of the Morphe palettes I feel like it's only right to do a Morphe palette with the Morphe brushes and this one is the 3502 palette and it looks like this very pretty so I'm going to use the bigger blending brush first I'm going to go into this shade here I don't know the name of it sorry seems to be picking up the product well Ooh. lays down the shadow nicely It was nice as well, not too rough because some of the natural haired brushes that I have had in the past for eyeshadow were like too almost like spiky on my eye, so it doesn't feel that nice. Whereas this one feels great, that's good. Now let's add a bit more of a darker colour. Do you know? Do you know? I'm literally just gonna go into that more purpley shade right next to it so this one here just to deepen up a bit I like that it's tapered as well it means that you can be more precise with where you want the shadow to go I'm literally just going to keep it really simple. I'm going to try out the other brush, so the smaller one that I showed you before. So I'm going to go in with this shimmer. I'm going to use the brush and see how well it packs on more of a shimmer. Oh wow. For some reason I wasn't expecting that to work, but it has! <laughs> so I'm also going to see how they work with the smoking a bit of shadow under the eye as well. Go back into the bigger blending brush. You just use the same two colours that I used before, the matte ones. Start with the lighter one first. And I'm going to use the smaller one to add a bit of a darker colour under my eye. I'm going to go in with a new shade and I'm going to use this one here. just applied so nicely I'm really happy with that so I'm just gonna go finish the other eye off camera 
and come back with my final thoughts. So I've just finished my eyes by adding some eyelashes and some mascara. I used the Dole Lash by Dole Beauty and these ones are called the Lord Lash. So yeah! And just to finish off the look I'm going to put some lipstick on and I'm going to use Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Human Nature. I actually love his liquid lipsticks, they're my absolute favourite liquid lipsticks out there. I feel like they're just the best, they last all day without drying your lips out. And now just to set it all in place, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Come on. So yeah, there we go. That's the look I created with the Jeffree Star X Morphe makeup brushes. And I will say that I would definitely recommend them. They're all great quality for such a good price as well. Um, my favourite one would have to be... I will say that my favourite is... The foundation brush. I never thought I would say that because I've always used a beauty blender and I've absolutely loved that. But this is definitely my new favourite that I'll be using in my everyday routine. There we go, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.